Basehorns.com Pro Tools 9 and 10 Free Class Tutorials Beginning, Intermediate, and Advanced Duplicate Tracks Hey YouTube, it's Wendy Russell with DSHorns.com uh, Today's tutorial is going to be to duplicate a track. Alright, so go ahead and open up a uh, session, Pro Tools session of your own. I have one open up here. Let me show you what it is. Um, this is uh, coming from the template of a hip hop. So if you want to get this template to, to kind of see what I'm doing, you can go to uh, start a new session, go to go to template, and go to uh, music. It says hip hop, and this will just show up. <clears throat> I erased some tracks though, but anyway, um, now to duplicate a track. Uh, several reasons why you want to duplicate a track. Uh, you might have a track where you know you're going to do all these reverbs, you're going to do all this stuff on it, and you want to to save a version of it dry. So that would be a reason to duplicate a track. You might want to uh, duplicate a track to create a stereo sound. It might be in mono, so you can duplicate it. You might want to duplicate a track to you know, change the pitch. Somebody singing, you want them to take it down an octave and have both of them, uh, both tracks, uh, two different vocals on this with the same track. So there's different reasons why you would want to duplicate a track. Let me just show you how to do that. You go right here to, let's say we want to duplicate this lead. So what you want to do is highlight it, right click. There's different ways you can, you know, do most everything in Pro Tools. I just want to show you one way the way I do it sometimes I do it other ways I just try to show you the easiest way just right click and go right here to duplicate and then now this is going to pop up it's going to ask you number of duplicates you can go uh, as many as you want uh, data to duplicate you want to go ahead and, and most of these is going to be checked uh, your active playlist, your alternate playlist, your automation, insert sins, group assignments. You go ahead and, and leave all those checked. Unless, let's say you're doing uh, a track and a lot of people do this. You might want to have a guitar lead sound. You're about to add a bunch of effects. You're about to, uh, and you want to see how it sounded, you know, before you put all the effects in. So you could take out the sends and the inserts and then it'll have a dry sound with none of the effects okay right now let's leave the inserts and sends in let's go ahead and hit OK and there is your duplicate and it'll say lead dupe one so duplicate one uh, you can call it whatever you want that's pretty good I'll leave it like that because that lets me know when they always put it right next to the one you're, you're duplicating that lets me know it's a duplicate um, so, like I said, one more thing. Let me show you this. Hit duplicate again. Now, if I want to go without the inserts and sends, a completely dry version of whatever I recorded, just take, unplug those, hit OK, and there is a dry version. So I have uh, three different versions, one of them and the one dry without the inserts out the sins. So that's basically how you duplicate a track. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials beginning, intermediate, or advanced, please go to dshorns.com. If you need a horn section on your track, horn solos, piano chords, piano solos, or help mastering your track, Contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dshorns at yahoo.com. And please make sure to send me a friend request on Facebook for Pro Tools updates and free plugins.